Hey guys, Yashong, welcome to Sweet Little Home. I'm Evie, and for today's video, it's going to be all about getting my thrifted items done, fixing them, updating them, painting them, whatever it is that I need to do and get it done. Especially since all of these items are going to go in the living room makeover for my family member's home. I definitely need to get started with these items because yeah, time is running out for me and I just been slacking off way too much and I just need to get it done. So yes, this is what this video is going to be all about. It's just thrifting, not thrifting, updating, fixing, making all these thrifted items look nicer, better, cohesive. Um, and hopefully, hopefully they turn out looking good. <laughs> For my first thrifted makeover, it is this cute little sign that I got from Goodwill. And for this piece, I'm not doing anything crazy to it. I'm just going to paint over the sign just because I don't really like it. I love the saying, but not the artwork and everything. And so I'm just using white chalk paint and just chalk painting the entire piece. I did use three layers of chalk paint to fully cover the entire sign. After that, I am using this water slide decal by Hippo. I do have a video that I go more in depth on how to use this product. If you guys are interested in that, I'll link in the cards above here for you guys to check it out. Um, anyways, love using this Hippo water slide decal. Super easy to use and it makes your piece very custom. So I'm setting my water slide decal paper in the center of my sign and that is it. And that completes this first thrift makeover super simple quick and easy which I love these type of easy thrift makeovers For my second thrifted makeover, it is this beautiful giant tree. I don't know what the name of this faux plant tree is called, but I got it off of Facebook Marketplace for $35, which is such a great steal. I love everything about this plant or this tree, except for the color of the pot. It looks like faux stone, but reminds me of the medieval time. So really didn't like it um, but I knew that this was a quick and simple fix that I can do by simply using black matte spray paint and painting it in black to make it look more modern and a lot nicer especially in the space that it's going to go in and that is it for this one you guys another super quick and easy uh, thrifted makeover sometimes these thrifted things don't need to be complicated easy is always a good way to go Before I move on to my next thrifted makeover, I wanted to mention that this video is part of the amazing collaboration called This Is My Thing where myself and 10 other wonderful ladies, we all came together to share with you guys what we love to do, whether that is doing DIYs, shopping hauls, cooking, whatever it may be, we wanted to share with you guys what we love to do. And so for this month, I wanted to share my thrifted makeovers because I love to go thrifting and I love doing DIYs among other things. So I decided to do that for this month. 
There is a playlist for this amazing collaboration. I'll have a link in my description box down below for you guys. Definitely watch everyone's video because these ladies are super talented, so amazing, and I do enjoy watching their videos, and so I know you guys will too. With that being said, let's go ahead and get back to the third thrifted makeover. So for this one, I am making over this thrifted tray that I got from Goodwill. It does look really nice as is already. And yeah, I'm kind of sad that I am making it over because I do really like the way it looks. However, the space that this tray is going to go into, I wanted to add a little bit of glam because one of the family members that I'm making over their space, she really likes glam. So I wanted to add a little bit of glam into the living space. And so I thought that this is the perfect item to do so. So luckily for this piece, I can detach the two pieces apart in order to redo them. And for the round tray part, I am just covering it up with marble contact paper. I wanted a lighter marble contact paper that doesn't have so much of the veins and the dark gray. However, that was so difficult to find. I went to a bunch of stores and nobody seemed to have it. So this is the one that I got from Walmart. Um, I've used this before and I do like it. So that's why I went with it. The good thing about this contact paper is that it's really easy to use and if you make any mistakes, you can just pull it back up and reapply it back to where it is. So that's really great, especially since these can get bubbles in them. So with this one, I had to do two layers of the marble contact paper since the sign was showing through, um, which isn't a big deal. The second time around, I made it more of a round shape instead of a rectangle, just so that it would be easier to fold down the sides. And then normally I don't cover the bottom for stuff that I make for myself, but because this is going to a family member's home, I want it to look nice and as pretty as it can be in case they do flip it over. Um, so I decided to cover the back piece just so that it looks seamless and nicer and more elegant. So now I am sanding the metal part of the tray just so that when I spray paint it, it will adhere a lot better. And I'm using 320 grit sandpaper to just lightly sand it. Not a crazy sanding to it, just a light sanding. Next, I'm using this beautiful gold spray paint that I purchased from Target. And I did three layers of this gold spray paint. And then I went back and added two more layers of the clear protected spray in order to protect the tray since I know it's going to be handled and move around quite often. And that is it for this thrifted makeover. I did reattach everything back together. And now we have this beautiful gold glam tray. last thrifted makeover it is this beautiful gold nesting table that is originally from ikea however i got this off of facebook marketplace for only 45 dollars um the funny thing is that i am going to change this completely over i know that i just said that i wanted to add glam into the living space however for this nesting coffee table i am going to do the total opposite i'm going to paint these into black yes the original color that it came in from ikea the seller had it gold and so 
I bought it gold. I did debate it if I should keep it gold, but then I decided that I wanted to make it black instead. So yeah, you guys, I am doing the opposite of what I just did earlier for my third one, from black to gold, and now I'm doing gold back to black. So funny, right? Anyways, for this one, I bought this chemical to make it easier for me to peel off the paint. However, that made it more difficult in my opinion because for the second uh, coffee table, I didn't use the chemical and I just used this little scraper and brushed it away and it was so much easier. So, so much easier. So I definitely recommend to not go ahead and get these little chemical things to remove the paint if you don't need to i think try moving the paint prior to buying these things and if you can't remove it then you can buy it should have done that the first time around So after that, I used a 320 grit sandpaper and sanded the uh, coffee table down because there were some parts that were still very rough and um, you can feel the bumps and grooves. So I tried to kind of get it down as much as I could, but obviously it's not going to be perfect, um, but whatever I could to make it smoother and less noticeable. After that, I am using this black matte uh, spray paint to cover the entire coffee table with. I really love this matte look and I did three coats of this black spray paint to it just to make sure that it looks really good and really nice. So when I purchased this coffee table, I didn't realize that it was missing the bottom piece. So then I had to go to Home Depot and buy this wood board to add another piece to it because I really needed that second piece. And so I used the glass to measure for the second board. And um, because we don't have a saw or anything like that, I just used this hand saw to cut it down. Thankfully, it wasn't a thick piece of wood, so it cut it down pretty easily. It took us about 10 minutes to cut the entire board out after that I went ahead and sanded the edges because it was not smooth at all and I needed to be as smooth as possible Next, I'm using this marble contact paper, the same one that I used earlier, and I'm covering the entire board with this, the same exact process that I did with the other one as well. So this is it for this makeover and I did reattach everything back together. It looks so, so good. I'm so proud of this one. This one did take me quite long to finish, but I'm happy with the end results.
guys had enjoyed this video just watching me make over my thrifted items that I've been needing to get done i just been putting it in the back burner but i just told myself i just i just have to do it i just have to do it and i'm so glad that i did one last thing to worry about i hope i encourage you guys to do the same too especially if you guys have these items laying around just waiting for you to make them over anyways you guys uh before you guys go don't forget to check out the playlist which is linked in the description box down below for you guys definitely check out all these wonderful ladies who are in this collaboration with me this is a ongoing monthly collaboration that we all do uh every month on the last monday of the month so you guys definitely will see us again for november and december all right you guys thank you so much for joining me have a blessed and wonderful day and i'll see you guys in my next one bye Wake up to you in the morning. You tell me 